Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to vibrate your device in Xcode. So unfortunately, as in the simulator, we can't show you the, the simulator basically vibrating itself. So unfortunately, I won't be able to show you this tutorial in the simulator, but when you build this tutorial and you go to run it, Make sure your device is plugged in and you can test it on your device and it will all work perfectly fine. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Vibrate App for the purpose of this tutorial. So how are we going to vibrate the device is basically we're going to press a round rec button and as soon as we press that our device shall vibrate. So what we need to do is create our IB action button. So we're going to our view controller.h and I'll zoom in for you now. So just after the UI view controller, do a bracket and press enter. And on the second curly bracket, we do a dash bracket IB action and we'll name it vibrate. Just get rid of the ID senders, we won't be needing that, and just end it with a semicolon at the end. Save that. If you want to copy the action line here, so let me go into our view controller.m just under the implementation now if you've got the new version of Xcode you notice you have the interface at the top here so a little bit of a different layout to previous Xcodes but basically just the same under the implementations where you add the actions and outlets so we're pasting our action button so do a fair bit of room here do a bracket and press enter and now because the vibrating are in X, well, not Xcode is to do with the audio we have to import a framework and the framework we need to import is audio toolbox so if I just zoom out now if you want to pause the video here and just catch up on that little bit of code and where it's placed so you fully understand I'll just quickly save that now if you click on our app name at the top go to build phases here and then drop down the link binary with libraries press the little plus symbol and then simply type in audio and we need to import the audio toolbox dot framework. So simply add that. Go back to our view controller.m where we added our action. And I'll zoom in again. Now just under the import here, our import of our view controller.h, we need to import the audio toolbox framework. So we do hashtag import audio. toolbox forward slash audio toolbox again dot h making sure the audio and the toolbox have capitals at the start of each um, word so once you've imported our framework there we can add in our action button out of the code so we do audio services play system sound and in the system sound ID, we do K S system sound ID underscore vibrate. And then we end that with a semicolon. And that's basically all the code that's needed to vibrate your device. So as soon as we press our action button, our device will simply vibrate. So if you can save that now and then zoom out, go into our view controller, the XIB, where we'll add in our round rec button. So I'll make this fairly wide, simply name it Vibrate, go into File Zoner and link up our action of Vibrate to our button and we can do a simple action for Touchdown so as soon as you touch it, it will vibrate and once it's saved, I'll build one in the simulator just to show the interface and how it will simply work but like I said before, unfortunately I can't show you the device vibrating itself as the simulator doesn't simulate a vibrate. So now once it's loaded, all you will simply do is press our button and the device should simulate. So if when you're testing this, if you want to plug in your iPhone or iPad or iPod and simply build it onto your device and then as soon as you hit the button, it should vibrate right in your hands. So I'm sorry I can't show you this on the simulator, but it does work. So just simply test it on your device. But I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. Leave us a comment or send us a message if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself 
or if you just want to leave us any feedback on how we can improve our tutorials. But if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. Also, make sure you like and favourite the video as it really does help us out and gets our content shared so more and more people can learn from them. But like I said in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. If you need help with your projects or haven't got the time to create that perfect app idea, head over to our website where you can post your project on our project board for hundreds of developers to see or earn a little bit of money by completing projects posted by others. Please support us by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geeklem.com and check out all our apps by simply searching Geek Lemon on the App Store.